Hey IT pros and fresh service beginners, welcome to this easy to follow tutorial where we'll guide you through the basics of fresh service. Your go-to IT service management tool, whether you're a complete newbie or just looking for some quick tips, this video will help you get started in no time. So let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do is to basically go to the official website which is going to be freshworks.com do not be confused if you are seeing fresh service and freshworks because the products that freshworks offer are fresh desk fresh chat fresh marketer fresh sales and of course the fresh service which we are going to walk you through in today's video now you have two options in the top right corner you see there's going to be the demo and the login if you want to book a demo and you do not want to sign up for an account click the book a demo just fill in as much as information as you can provide your first name last name and all these and click the get a demo but if you want to start and click the try it for free button you will be forwarded to this section wherein Freshworks is giving you a generous 14-day free trial. Alright? And then, once you have successfully created your account, you should be able to receive an email that says, click the activate option. And then, if you click this button right here, you will be forwarded to the interface of the uh, Fresh service. Basically, it's a cloud-based IT service management or ITSM tool for handling IT support, tickets, assets, and workflows. Now, on the left side panel, you have all these options for you to explore. One of the best things about Fresh Service is going to be the tickets. You have two sections here. You can use the list view or the board view, whichever you prefer. For example, we're going to be clicking the list. You have three options here. You can connect your support email. All right. If you click that, you would be forwarded to this section. Wherein, if you want to use the default mail server, which is going to be from a fresh service, you can do that. But if you're using your own mail server, for example, you have an account with Microsoft, especially you are using Outlook, you can do that as well. You can also use your Google account or other platform service. Make sure you have the technical expertise because it would require some settings for you to configure. All right, now we're going to name this as this one for now. Or if you want, just click the default service. All right, and I'm going to put in the uh, service right here and click on save all right so that's one way i'm gonna try to put in this all right so if that's not gonna work just click on cancel for now let's leave it as it is we're just going to explore some settings go back again to the tickets if it's not working all right now you have an option to request from self-service portal if you want to raise a request for a service item you can do that here and these are going to be some of the options that you can search or use for the service item you have adobe illustrator adobe indesign but make sure that it comes with a price now if you go back again to the tickets if you want to create tickets manually you can add using a ticket form what will happen is you would be forwarded to this section all right so we're gonna put something here maybe let's try to create type of search subject is gonna be this you have all this option for the source. Is that going to be from phone, email, portal, and Facebook widget? Status is going to be, um, it's up to you. If it's going to be open, pending, resolved, or closed. You can set the priority from low until medium, high, and urgent. And you can assign this to a specific agent, especially if you're working with multiple customer service representative in this platform. And all I have to do now is click on the submit button. But of course, you have to provide all the information needed here. Click the submit button. All right. Now you can add a new requester right here and pull, fill in as much as information as you can. But we're going to skip that for now. 
after creating your tickets manually you go now to the left side panel of your dashboard which is going to be the employees journey now this section will help you automate the onboarding and offboarding and role transitions of employees it teams can set up predefined workflows to ensure employees get the right access tools and id supports for example a new hire automatically receives a laptop software access and an introduction email so this is going to be the section for that the third section is going to be the problems wherein you can use this to identify and analyze resolve the root cause of any recurring incidents all right for example if multiple employees report slow wi-fi instead of resolving each ticket individually a problem record is created to investigate the network all right all i have to do is fill in the information and click on the submit now the next section is going to be the changes you can track and change its modifications to it infrastructure to minimize risk because for one if you want to upgrade all company PCs, for example, to Windows 10 to Windows 11, it would require a change request with approvals from, of course, ID managers or IT supervisors. All I have to do is click the submit button. The, the next section is going to be the release. It's not as, as, as important as the others, but you use the release if you want to use for planning and deploying new software updates or it service all i have to do is click the new release enter the details right here for example a new version of internal hi portal is being deployed a fresh service tracks its rollout and you can click a uh, testing and post release monitoring now the tasks are here to give you a breakdown work into smaller manageable items you can assign this to specific people for example assign to or specific agents and linked to tickets problems changes or project now in terms of the id operations you have the sections here that could cover the services and alerts simultaneously you can alert monitor companies ser server health and prevent downtime now one of the sections here is going to be at the assets wherein you can track all it and non-it assets like software contracts purchase orders cloud and software now if you hover now to the solutions right here that's going to be some of the section we're in the knowledge based it like documents faqs and troubleshooting guides are located here when you click an article you can create repetitive tickets by allowing employees to self-service common issues and type it here enter that click the submit button and click on save now the reported section gives you three sections right here analytics project analytics and post incident reports now it provides insights into service performance and agent efficiency for example if you click on the uh, report you can create a monthly report and ticket resolution times helping it managers optimize response strategies now knowing all these if you are interested in scaling up and you wanted to buy the uh, fresh service because right now we are on the 14 days free trial click this button right here and you would be forwarded to this section where you can manage the plan remember that the starter comes at 29 dollars per month build monthly you can buy plan and switch trial if you want the growth comes at 59 dollars the pro is going to be 119 and of course the enterprise is a custom plan which requires you contacting the sales professional so that they could provide a tailored solution for your company and budget plus your how big is your organization and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys we will see you again in the next one